Hey guys, it's me Anna's more. So today I'm going to do a review on a blow dryer that I've been using. It is the red blow dryer. It's the handleless ceramic blow dryer. And this is what it looks like. It does not have a handle, which allows you to have a really, really good grip. And it comes with three attachments. I'm using the smallest attachment. So these are the products I use. I'm using Tresemme Heat Protectant. I'm using the Affigy Reconstructor Spray. I'm using this um, because it is a protein and I'll be adding a lot of heat to my hair. And I'm using this Mane and Tail Detangler. I love this stuff, especially if you have natural or thick hair. And I'm using this Herbal Essence Serum. This is going to keep my hair frizz free for about a week. And I'm starting with freshly washed and detangled hair. I am dividing my hair into four sections. So I begin by spraying each section with um, my products. These are the order that I use the products in. Now I just divide my hair into two sections. And I add my heat protectant spray. And then I'm going to add a detangler just to give my hair a little bit extra slip um, so that it's easy for my hair to glide through the blow dryer. And I start by detangling with the wide tooth comb and I detangle from ends to roots. You want to make sure your hair is detangled um, because this is going to result in less blow dry time and it's going to result in less damage. So I begin by starting from the ends to the roots just like I detangle my hair. And this is how long it took me to detangle each section from start to finish. This is real time. Nothing has been fast forwarded. I just want to show you how fast this blow dryer works. So I get a really, really good grip on the blow dryer. And it blow dries so fast, I really don't have to worry about heat damage. I don't have to worry about um, breakage because it just doesn't take a long time for me to blow dry my hair. So yeah, that section is finished and it took me about a minute to blow dry that section. And it gave me a really sleek finish. This is a good base, especially if you are going to be flat ironing your hair. You want a good base to flat iron your hair. Um, so I'm on my second section and I'm just showing you what my shrinkage looks like compared to what my um, dry hair looks like. So I begin again by detangling from ends to root and I do the same process with it now sometimes this does become tricky it's kind of like a mind thing because you're so used to blow drying your hair with a handle you have to kind of trick your mind into knowing that you're not having a handle um, but I'm not being rough at all I don't want you guys to think I'm being rough I'm just blow drying my hair I get a really 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 good grip on my roots so I don't have to worry about my roots being too thick. This is really great for relaxed ladies and also um, for ladies who do long stretches. So that took about another minute and that's what it looks like. I'm almost done with my blow drying process. And one of the things that I like about this is I get a really, really good grip on my edges, which are growing back. Remember, I um, my edges fell out after I had my baby. So this gives me a really good grip on my edges. And this is the finished look. I did flat iron my hair. Um, it took me about 30 minutes to flat iron my hair once I completed that process. But this is what it looks like. My hair is not way down. The products that I use are all water based so it did not weigh my hair down um, it left my hair really really flowy and yeah I love this blow dryer this I threw out all my blow dryers because this blow dryer is the bomb.com so yeah if you guys have any questions feel free to ask and thanks for watching